Welcome back to TK Tennis. So I saw this post on Reddit about there's a 2-5 player or a 3-0 player posting about why they play tennis. And it reminded me of a video I wanted to do about why I play tennis and maybe why you should too. In the comments, I'll list my five reasons and then maybe you can list the reasons that you play tennis. The first one is therapeutic reasons. Being able to control this fuzzy little tennis ball. There's something incredibly therapeutic but at times also frustrating about being able to control this tennis ball. In life, there's a lot of things we don't have control over. And while this is difficult, it's also really rewarding when you can control it. My second reason is a little more straightforward. I also rely heavily on tennis for my fitness. And sometimes if you're playing matches all the time or competing all the time, you don't get as much fitness. Points are slow. Sometimes you don't have many great points. So at the bottom line, every time I want to leave the tennis court, I want to know I had a really good workout. Yeah. So I don't really care if my opponent misses the shot or makes the shot every time or misses it. I want to try and track down every ball I possibly can for fitness and to help improve my footwork. When I leave the tennis court, I want to make sure I had a really good sweat and it was part of my fitness routine. My number three reason is physical coordination and mental acuity. So tennis requires a lot of coordination. And you may think if you're a young player and you're watching this and you're even in your teens, well, I'm coordinated. Tennis doesn't give me that much coordination. Sure it does. Being able to hit a serve in, in a coordinated, smooth fashion is not easy for any human being, is not natural, or a forehand or backhand or anything else. So being able to train your muscles to hit a particular kind of shot and increase your skill and improve your physical coordination. Along with that is mental acuity, being able to interpret the ball's bounce, its spin, where is it going to be when it gets to me, how do I need to move to the ball, increases mental acuity by a great deal. There's been several studies done that show people who play racket sports live longer, and that's due to their mental acuity of being able to take in all the information of a tennis ball coming at you and being able to stay sharp. My number four reason is social and family bonding. Tennis is relatively a social sport and getting out with friends or family and enjoying yourself is part of the tennis experience. And when you're working together to rally or you're competing, that type of social connection and family bonding is really valuable to me. The number five reason, it's pretty simple, is enjoyment and fun. Playing tennis is fun and enjoyable. It's just that simple. And my number six reason, and the least prioritized for me, is competition and actually competing. And that may sound weird, and this is the one I want to spend most of my time focusing on, is where I think that most people may be thinking about tennis, maybe not in the right way. Competition is fun. I enjoy playing games to 11 or playing sets as much as anyone. But what I enjoy more are those other things, being able to rally and being able to improve my skill. And I think a lot of people play tennis for competition to improve some sort of number, which is your UTR ranking or your USTA ranking, and be able to say, I'm a 3-5, I'm a 4-0, I'm a 4-5, I'm a 5-0, whatever it may be. I think a lot of people may play tennis and compete so that they can move up to this number that affirms that how good they are at tennis. The problem with competition when you're a little bit older, competition is fantastic when you're young. It teaches you sportsmanship and fair play, and it also teaches you when you're frustrated and you lose, and all that frustration is character building. So that's a really important part of it. So don't let me downplay competition, especially when you're up and coming as a junior. Competition, of course, is very important, and it also helps with your fitness. But I think a lot of adult players take competition yeah as their number one prioritization in tennis. And I think, in my opinion, or at least that's not why I play tennis for, but I think a lot of people do, and they play in a lot of leagues where they always want to compete. They warm up for five minutes and they immediately want to play a set. And that's to, I want to beat that person. I want to be better than that person. But does that make you really feel better? Yes, when you win, it does. But when you lose, it's also very frustrating and humbling. And for me, that's not really what I get out of tennis the most. And I think a lot of people spend too much time and effort focusing on getting better and having a higher ranking. But that necessarily doesn't make you better. I think you get better and you improve your skills more by doing much more rallying, working together, and practicing more with players than having to compete all the time. And I'm not saying if you love competition and you love playing league matches, oh. That's great, and that should be your number one priority. 
I just happen to think there's a lot of people out there that may want to reconsider their prioritization on what they're trying to get out of tennis. Because as you get older, you're not going to be improving. At some time, you're going to plateau. And then what do you have to look forward to? Then things get a little bit more humbling and frustrating. And that doesn't mean you need to quit tennis. That's just a fact of life on every sport you're going to play. You're going to plateau. And it's going to be hard at times. It's going to be rewarding at times. And that's wonderful. But I want to play tennis for more of the enjoyment side, more of the therapeutic side, more of the fitness side. And I think if some people prioritize why they want to play tennis a little bit differently, I think they'll get more out of the sport. It's okay to be selfish. My first three things are all about selfish reasons. They're about my own mental therapeutics. They're about my own fitness. They're about my own physical coordination and mental acuity. And that's okay. We can all be out here playing together with one another for selfish reasons, but working together to make each other better. So those are my six reasons for why I play tennis and maybe why you should too. In the comments, I'd love to see you post your reasons for playing tennis and to see if this has made any difference in the way you think about tennis. And in my mind, for a lot of people, I think you'll enjoy tennis and not only enjoy tennis more, but your skills will improve even more if you align yourself with these prioritizations. And a matter of fact, if the people you are playing with, if they're only wanting to play competitions and you may not, it might be a good idea to communicate with them and talk to them about what are we trying to get out of this sport? What are we trying and get everybody on the same page and alignment? Because if you can find people that you play with, whether they're family members or friends, and they come out for the same reasons and not having to compete all the time, and you can get a tremendous amount of reward about trying to do a 20 shot cross court rally, a 30 shot cross court rally, 40 shot, and working together and working hard, so even if the ball is out, trying to save that ball and reestablish the rally. Hitting as many tennis balls as possible is how you improve your physical coordination, your mental acuity, and your skills and your strokes. So those are the reasons why I play tennis, and maybe you should too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next ace. See you soon.